Now, guys, I'm just off uh, Tepeset Road uh, at John TM, which is just behind me here. I'm in, I'm in on this blind. Some of you guys will probably know. Just here, there's about 10 or 12 abandoned buildings. Um, they, obviously, they were going to be condo blocks. But this was, I think these were built about 10 years ago. Now, I, did, I spoke to um, my architect about this. I said, I'm just going to go here and film, film uh, this, these buildings here. And he said, oh, right, they, yeah, I know them. Uh, they, they got abandoned and it, they, they were for sale. I don't know if they still are or not, but they were for sale for one million baht, which I find hard to believe because the land itself is worth more than that. But perhaps taking them down is going to cost quite a few million. Uh, perhaps that's why. But any of you guys out there, if you know anything about this, perhaps some real estate people, uh, you, you'll, you'll know more about this than me. But it's really interesting because this was a, a huge complex. Um, I don't know whether they were going to be, uh, you know, for uh, Westerners or they were going to be accommodation for Thais, but it has been abandoned and uh, it is apparently for sale for one million baht. I mean, that is very cheap. Maybe we can all uh, chip in and buy it, but it's probably going to cost us a fortune in taking all these down. So yeah, they were never ever lived in. And uh, so if any of you guys out there, you know anything about this, let us know in the comments. It's at the Forza. Right, uh, very interesting that guys. Now, I've just noticed something else here on Soy 7. If you just spin around, Dan, this, there's an exchange booth open here. Um, it's not a TT, so I do not know their prices. And I'm always a bit dodgy of uh, exchange rates that do not show the prices of the currencies in the window because we all like a nose, we all go, like go past and see. There's one here, it's another exchange here, but these closed about four weeks ago and I'm not sure what is happening. They're saying they're coming back, uh, but they've not said nothing. I mean, I would like them to go because then I can open it up at the front, but I think we did a good job on the inside anyway by hiding that. Now I'm just going to show you something else as well because a lot of you guys keep asking, uh, keep asking about the live shows, when are they coming back. Um, we've had to do quite a bit of work recently in creating a studio. So I'll go to A7 because that's where the studio is going to be and I'll show you now. Oh, it looks like they're having a party here. <laughs> party, huh? Now, what have I done this week is I've had some extra tables put into A7, uh, which are these tables here. And the bigger tables, people seem to like the bigger tables. But it's all part of sort of rebuilding the studio. Um, these art tables, uh, particularly the tabletops, the granite, they're not cheap and they're, they're cut to size. So we've got these tables here now. This one has been put the wrong way, so we're going to have to move it. If you just follow me over here, Dan. What I've done here is uh, we've basically built like somewhere where we can uh, basically put all the camera equipment behind the tripods, somewhere where it's going to be safe. And um, here will go filing cabinets, the tripods will go in there, and then so basically we're facing the bar this way. But then the good thing is it doubles down after into an area, a low table for the disabled people, because there's the uh, disabled ramp there. And one of the biggest issues with the lives is the amount of equipment we have. And it's, a, it's literally a car full. In fact, it's more than a car full. And some of it is quite heavy to carry about. So the idea is we're going to keep everything in lockable cabinets here. It's all going to be bolted to the wall so none of it can get taken away and stolen. Uh, and then we can just come here and just switch it on. So Martin will be here shortly to run the cables because be, there's a lot of cables like we, we had in the Daystate studio. So this is going to be the new Daystate studio here. And this is where Dan down the cameraman will be behind here. So basically we've made, you know, we've enclosed it in. Uh, this is quite a dead space in the bar anyway. And uh, yeah, that's where the cameras and all the equipment, the switching will go. Now, before we go and get some food, I just want to show you something up here. Now, this is the old Tip Plaza. Now, I did t briefly touch on this a couple of videos ago. And what it seems to have happened here on Soy Marijuana, which to me it will be, because uh, behind us here, there's, there, there's, there's loads of them. Um, it seems to be a seafood restaurant. Uh, so that's the old Tip Plaza. So you've got seafood and also art in there. 
Um, and I presume it's going to grow and grow, uh, but there's only like a few units at the moment. But they have got they have set up tanks, and there is shrimp and whatever swimming around in them. Okay, so we're inside what used to be called Tip Plaza. It's now called Ben Egg Two, uh, which means number one. <laughs> That's hilarious, that is. But just on what you've got here is on the left hand side, you've got all the artists. Now, I have used these artists in the past before. I've not seen any customers yet, and they've been coming here quite a few times. I can't do it in my condo because I've got enough art artwork on my wall. Uh, then, on the right hand side, which is this side, there's loads of uh, Thai food places. And I bet you what, I'll tell you what, you know, I bet it's going to be really cheap here. And look, it looks like they've got marijuana places as well. <laughs> Hopefully, enough here. That's probably food. Sorry, Carl. I have got the marijuana sign there. Is that mean they do marijuana food? <laughs> I, I came through here yesterday and this one here, that wasn't, that wasn't open, so that's just open today. So you know what these places are like? They just, they just rapidly expand. Now, on to the next place just here. Uh, and this one is a really good thing and a really good sign. Now, just here is Second Road and literally right opposite is the base condo. Now, one of the things that I know we're getting back to normal is this here right by the side of me this closed down at the very beginning of covid and um it never opened again since but i noticed in the last couple of days it's open again they do uh, great um seafood here and i used to always come here because it's right opposite my condo i remember coming here even when i didn't live in thailand when i when i used to come here on, on a holiday but it's reopened so we're gonna go again there is a little bit of a sad story there was one restaurant just at the bottom here on, on the right and that has now gone, you know, COVID basically finished them off completely. Uh, so that's a bit sad because it was a great restaurant. But what we'll do is we'll get some food here. Now I've noticed that they've put um, uh, umbrellas up. So it's obviously rain season and that's probably a good idea. They didn't have that before, but it's, this has only happened over the last sort of three days. So it's interesting that this is back. And to me, that's a sign that it's almost over. This place is called Nong Jai, and that means heart, apparently. And uh, straight away, Dan is tucked into some mama noodles. He's going, pushing the boat out. There you go, have a look at that. That looks good, but it looks quite spicy to me, Dan. And I've gone for a pizza, which I'll show you in a moment. Yes, a pizza. There you go, guys, there's my pizza. The pizza costs 280 baht. That's pizza with salami. Now, if you've noticed on the front on second road here, you'll see a pizza place. They just don't get them up on there. It's really busy in here, you know, there's got loads of staff. Um, and there's, there's quite a few people coming out now. They, I, I'm not sure if they set these uh, canopies up every night or, or take them down. Uh, well, they seem to set them up every day, which is a bit of a ball lake. So that's probably why they've got a lot of staff. But yeah, Nom Jai, uh, 280 baht for this pizza. <laughs> Hot. Oh. So June has gone for, this is a, some kind of pork. It's not Tom Yum quite, but it, it's, it's similar. So I can't really say the name in Thai. It's nice, spicy and salt. I like salt, kem, kem as they call it in You know, this place here, it's, it's quite busy, you know, it's super busy. I wouldn't say it's the uh, cheapest in town, but it's just always very convenient for me and we do great seafood here. Nom Jai, and uh, it's very good to see that open and to see some action going on here again. I've contacted some uh, real estate to see if they know what has gone on with them and they haven't got back to me yet. So maybe you guys in the comments, you know so much about this. Like I say, I think they've been abandoned now for 10 years. And you know, at that price, I don't believe it because I, I am told that the land in that area is roughly 10 to 12 million baht per ride. That's on something like five to seven, right. Maybe there's stipulations in that price, like you've got to take those buildings down, uh, which would obviously bump up that price. Uh, but anyway, that was, that was a few years ago and nobody knows what has gone on since then. Um, Tip Plaza, um, I'm really glad to see that place open again now. I mean, if you remember walking along Second Road, they were always dragging you in, uh, but it was mainly Chinese there. So um, I've heard the rumour that China are going to be allowed back on the 1st of December, so maybe they're preparing for that. I know in, in, uh, Ben Manila was telling me, because he was recently in Vietnam, and he was telling me that 
in uh, Vietnam, they're preparing for the 1st of December, so I don't know how true that is. Anyway, guys, if you know anything about the building, the abandoned buildings, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.